Hi, my name's Sarah from Dolls and Daydreams, and today I'm going to be talking about a really quick and easy way that you can cut out your doll appliques using a very simple method and product called freezer paper. Hang on, is this a baking channel? No, it's not. We're going to be making dolls right now. So you have your dolly and you have some tiny little appliques. For example, I have the pocket princess here. She has a cute little applique crown on her head with a tiny little heart in the center. Now, if I was to cut that out straight from my wool felt, it would be really fiddly. I would be tracing around my pattern piece in paper and then I would be trying to cut out the fabric there's a lot of room for error this way. So if I use something that stabilizes that fabric, such as freezer paper, then you're going to get a nice, clean, sharp line on your appliques. And let's face it, if it's gonna make it easier and faster for you to make a dolly, let's do it. If freezer paper isn't readily available in your area, you can always buy it in bulk online. For example, Amazon sells a really big roll. It's lasted me forever. A little goes a very, very long way. And if you're savvy and you keep hold of all those little scraps, you can use them for multiple tiny, tiny little appliques. Now, if you still can't get hold of it, I really do recommend also a super lightweight interfacing. Um, one that is fusible. It will work just as well, um, but you might not be able to reuse it as many times. So let's talk about freezer paper. There is a paper side to it, which is rough to the touch, and there is a shiny side. The shiny side is the side we are going to iron down onto your fabric. The paper side is the side, logically, <laughs> that we are actually going to be drawing on. And that's the side that you will iron on. Don't iron on the shiny side, not fun. Now freezer paper can be used also not only for wool felt or craft felt, you can use it on fleece. Yes, fleece can be used for even the tiniest of appliques. It's not something that I used to always go to in my doll making, but I'm actually really loving it now. So pick up some fleece and try it. You'll be amazed at how clean and crisp your lines will be if you use freezer paper. Okay, a quick rundown on interfacing. You can buy it by the yard from a fabric store. You need to have it adhesible because, adhesible, is that a word? Adhesive on one side, uh, so that it will stick to your fabric as you cut out. The good thing about interfacing is you don't have to always remove it. If it's a really small piece that you're appliqueing on, you can leave it there, it's okay. As long as you're not gonna see the edges or anything like that, which you shouldn't, uh, just leave it. But if you're going to be doing something like the bangs, which is a fringe in British English, um, I'm saying that because I was confused for about half a year um, <laughs> when I first moved out here, I really wouldn't recommend you leaving it in there. It's going to make the doll really crispy and firm, even if with a lightweight one. I still don't like it. It changes up the feel of your doll. Um, so yeah, let's get to the tutorial. So here I have my freezer paper. I've torn off a strip and I'm going to place it over the crown. And we're going to trace it onto the paper side of the freezer paper. No need to use a light box or a window to trace through. The freezer paper is very easy to see through and you'll be able to quickly draw on your applique piece. Take the tracing that you've just made, you can cut this down, just don't get too close to your lines and iron it directly on the paper side onto your felt. Here's one I have already ironed on. You can see from the side that that's the paper and uh, it's attached very nicely to the felt. Grab yourself a small pair of scissors and cut your applique out. And once you've finished, we can add it to your doll. Simply take one of the edges and pull it off. Freezer paper comes away so easily. And then pop it onto your dolly and sew it securely 
1 8 of an inch from the edge. Now I can reuse this freezer paper again. I use them a lot, maybe 10 times, 15 times. Here is one that I have on a piece of fleece. As you can see, the fleece actually retains its shape really, really nicely. Um, and it's a very small detail. Uh, and we're gonna add that to our crown. And uh, again, I would then sew that on. And I'm talking about a flat piece of fabric, not a finished doll. Uh, just follow your photo tutorial and you'll know exactly when to add it. And there we have it. I really hope this has helped. Let me know in the comments, have you tried freezer paper? Have you tried interfacing? Have you found something else? Do let me know, I'm always interested and I'm always up for trying a new product. Think about subscribing and leaving me a thumbs up. Take care and happy sewing.